Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Brian C., on how it can work with the transparent background shader. So I have the pod racer scene from the Introduction to Maya 2011 course. And just to see what we're working with here, let's go ahead and render this out. All right, so this is uh, what our pod racer looks like. Now let's go through the process of setting up our used background shader. Okay, so I'm just going to come in and create a real quick plane and then hit R to scale this guy up and just move it down into position a little bit. All right, so now that we have that created, we can come to create materials and create a used background material in our hypershade. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and middle click and drag this onto my background now. Let's go back in and re-render this out with our used background shader. All right, as we can see, we're getting some uh, reflectivity. That's because by default, the used background shader does have reflections turned on. So I'll just double click on it here in my hypershade. And we can turn our uh, specular color reflectivity and the reflection limit all the way down. Okay, so let's come back in and render this back out. As you can see, we've taken care of the reflection problem, but now the used background is all black. Well, if we were to come into our render settings, we can see that we actually have Final Gathering turned on. And this can cause an issue in our case because Final Gather doesn't really handle the used background shader in a way that we'd expect. So to fix this, we're going to want to turn Final Gathering off, and then when we render this out, we can see that our used background shader is now giving us the results that we would expect to get. So let's look at how we can fix an issue with our used background shader always rendering out black by turning off Final Gathering. 